Mike Cromwell. Brian DeVault. And we're here talking to you today from uh, Netrio talking about project management. And this is our fifth episode in a series talking about the eight tenets of project management, critical steps to a successful project management plan. So today we're talking about documentation. So Brian, I think we all know what documentation means, but let's talk about the context of what components go into proper documentation. Great topic. So when we talk about documentation, it can mean a lot of different things like we've talked about. So, but one of the things you wanna make sure that you do as part of your project planning is set a schedule up front for what documentation you're gonna produce, who it's going to, and at what frequency you're gonna produce it. This kind of sets the stage and sets everyone's expectation for what they should receive throughout the course of the, the project execution. It's the job of the project manager or someone that's, that's helping direct the project and it should include a lot of the standard project documentation. An example is a project plan, right? An example is a performance report. We talked last episode about performance to budget versus performance to schedule, right? So those can be different things. It should be template-based. So any of these documents that you produce should be based on a template so that they're standardized and that you're reporting the same data at the same, at, when you're reporting it at that, that frequent schedule. So if you get a project status report, in, on day two, it should look the same as a project status report on day five or day 15 or day 50, depending on the length of the project. And then producing the meeting status report. This is invaluable here and, and understated. Anytime you hold a meeting when you're conducting a project or executing a project, you have notes and deliverables and changes and, and discussion points that come out of those project meetings. And if you're not memorializing those in, in a status report of some type, they basically didn't happen. And so it, that's a way that you can record them and communicate them with the project team so that you keep everybody on the same page and set to the same schedule. So during the meeting, you're capturing the notes, action items, memorializing them in the status reports. And how soon does the client see that following the meeting? The, the, the meeting status report, barring a deliverable that you can't capture during the meeting should go out within an hour after the project is or the meeting is complete. So I like to send them out before the call ends, you know, it, and that's it, just capturing everything while it's top of mind and it's fresh on everybody's plate. And how often through this documentation are you capturing and, and being able to highlight for the client risks, dependencies that are going to keep the project on track by having this kind of cadence on this front. The next tenet that we're going to talk about is risk analysis. And that's what you're doing in, in these status reports is you're communicating the risks that are associated with each of the tasks. And, and you know, you can color code them or you know, base them on high, medium, low, or how, however you want to do it as an organization. But that's exactly what you're capturing in those are, are the, the risk, the task updates, you know, how you're performing to schedule at a, at a very high level. So it's a summary perspective of how things are going. Well, there you have it, folks, the documentation step of the eight tenets of project management. Stay tuned for next week's Whiteboard Wednesday, and we're going to get into the risk elements, which I got to assume that's where you're going to have to uh, kick some ass because I've seen all too often projects get delayed because of the proverbial long pole and the tents. And your team's been blowing through those long pole and tents like nobody's business. So anxious yeah. to talk about that one. Stay tuned for next week's episode. Thanks for tuning in.